I am back. That's right, it is I, True Self, back at it with another video. And today we're going back into Dandy Ace. So last time we were trying to play and we were doing okay, I guess. But we fell to the final boss and that was not a pretty moment. So this time we're going into a new run and attempting to make it all the way through. And this time also properly reach Cicerella, which is the other boss on here. Yeah, so let's see how it goes. It always helps I have a good start and some good upgrades, but even without that, I should be able to do good. And uh, if you watched last videos, or if you didn't watch last video, this game is a action. It's an action roguelike game, which functions similarly to almost like a card battler, where you collect cards as you continue through, and you use them to defeat enemies. Except it's action based, so the amount of cards you can hold are limited. It's limited to four cards, four main cards, which you actually can use, and four upgrade cards, which augment the abilities of your main cards. It's really fun, really interesting, and it's actually available for you guys to try out and play right now. Like, if you were to go on to Steam, you can play it. You can actually download the demo, and there's also even a Discord that you're able to join. Needs to say, there's like no reason not to, but like you have it, really. which also means that if you like it at all, you can just try it and play it. And chances are, if you play it, you'll find you like it even more. And that makes me happy because, well, that means that I help people find games they like, and well, that's always good. This is actually gonna be my third public video of Dandy Ace I actually posted out. I got two cupcakes right here. Kind of unfortunate. Also, in previous runs, I collected two keys. I collected the uh, purple heart and the red diamond. So I can go through all of those doors. So this area right here is actually called an arena. And it's called that because it's we're locked in here whenever it happens. So it's like arena where you can't escape unless you defeat all of your enemies. So I guess pretty cool. There's lots of little enemies. You got the rabbit jesters. You got the fire tower. You got the rabbit um, butler. I believe that's what it is. Or bunny, no, bunny butler, bunny butler. Yeah, bunny butler, which is a little pitchfork. It's also like little bunny knights, which you can see. You'll see a bit later. They're pretty cool and fairly annoying. All right, pack a trick. I don't really care about it that much, but but I will put it like down here, just because the death effect of it is actually pretty good. I can combo it like that. Ooh. So the card I'm mainly learning right now, which is this, is called Titan's Fist. And Titan's Fist is a really unique and interesting card in the fact that it's a three hit card. It does reset if you take too long between your hits. But what it does that makes it so amazing is that it actually cycles. So the first hit of everyone stuns for, actually no, that's not correct. No. So the first hit Done? No. So second hit stuns enemies. And third hit stuns enemies. Uh, furthermore, they gain vulnerability on the second hit. So, it, and vulnerability just makes it where you do more damage. So basically, it just gets stronger and stronger every single, like, 
with all the hits you're doing with it, which makes it amazing. Oh, little shop up here. We probably won't be getting anything from the shop because we know how to make Resin Cascade work. So uh, we're going to. And we now should be able to open this gate. Oh, it's a diamond gate. Yeah. Another cupcake? Wow. Oh, there's a green clover gate. Which means that we probably won't be seeing the purple heart gates over here. I could be wrong, because I don't really know. I haven't really actually been able to use purple clover gate or purple heart gate before. Because it I was wasn't in the belt version that I was running, but Wow, I'm so close to dying. You know what that means? It means I'm gonna just... Ooh, magic trick. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna get a cupcake and eat it. Yep, I ate. took a potato chip and ate it. It was delicious. So this is a large room. Oh no, it's just a hallway again. Let's see, down a bit and bam. Yep. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm just going to teleport down here. Grab these two cupcakes. I don't want to use my potion yet. And then teleport back up. Actually, I'm pretty sure down here should be the charm gate. So let's actually see. Because if it is charm gate. Oh, wait. Anyways. Going through these guys out. Oh, I messed up. But it's just kind of annoying like that. Actually, I feel like I have a good use of this if I flip it around. So I will. And you guys say good use of that because this. Uh, me dying was not. Oh, every time it procs. It pushes them back, which makes it absolutely amazing. Because, yeah. well, Patty's a potion because I'm bad. Ah, a charm. All right, we'll take it, I guess. Oh, that's the main place you normally go, Banquet Hall. So we don't want to go there at all. We want to go fully over here, which also means that the uh, yellow gate is going to be over here as well. Wait, no? Is there no purple gate here? Like, unless I missed it, I don't believe there's a purple heart. I think I understand. So the purple heart gate is probably going to be behind the... Uh, blue spades gate but since we don't have blue spades unlocked we can't go over there in fact let's try to check it out so yeah so got the red diamond gate here and over here is the green clover gate now if we go down down here we can well let's see we got here we can see that there is a blue spades gate and there's some stuff back here so i'm guessing that's also where purple heart is so now we're just gonna go over here and magically go into the portal to the courtyard. The courtyard is a grassy zone. Uh, actually, next. So after I finish these videos showing off these areas, my plan will be to go back and place through just a regular run as if you never had any keys before, like a fresh run. Uh, I'll play on this one just because I want to keep unlocking stuff and show you guys all the stuff I have. But actually, no, no, I'll do a fresh run. Yeah, I'll do a fresh run just so you, everyone can see exactly what you see. Of course, this is not the final version of the game. It This is just a beta version of it. 
However, it's very well done so far, and it's improving, like, continuously, and you can actually help it improve. And if you want to know how, all you got to do is just join the Discord. And that link is down below. Yeah, you know, once I get a second teapot, I should be fully set. Or an angel. Yeah. I already talked to Mysterious Guy in my previous video, so I'm not going to do that again this time. Instead, just go straight into the combat. Oh man, these guys are. Actually, these are just regular chain leaders, so they're not that bad. The poison smog is bad in their hand because it's such a pain to deal with. Oh wait, that's actually like really nice. The ability just goodbye. Okay. I'm back there's gonna be something right here. Of course there is. Oh that's that's very fun. By fun, I mean not fun. Because that's exactly what that is, not fun. Let's see. We're gonna want to play guy kind of more cautiously, just so that we can not have to deal with this stuff as much. So we're gonna want to jump in and kill this thing. Second smog. Actually, stop, stop, stop. Okay. And now you want to jump back out. And with that, oh, we actually defeated pretty much all the main enemies, so we can easily destroy the explosion totem. Goodbye. Forever. Oh, it's a clover gate. Except. We will not go in there just yet because I want to go over here and get this treasure and also unlock this. Uh, empower magic isn't. Wait, it should be updated now, which means it could be quite interesting. So let's see if we click on that. Nope, it's it's not worth it. It has the same long cooldown before, which means that it's not very viable as an upgrade card. As a main card, it's not bad, though I just have more preference. I forgot that's a club key. I don't have, or not, that's just a, I just have a club key. That's not why I have, I need to Boom, explosion. It doesn't and also what's happening here is the fact that I'm taking tiny damage from the little poison trails, not even necessarily anything else. So, and look, the annoying part here is the fact that those things only affect us as players, so they literally have no reason to even care about it in the slightest. Like, 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 come on. Watch him just die. I'll just go and take this and jump back over here and... Oh, that's fun. And then jump... Oh, I messed up, alright. So... Haha! -ha! It's the Bunny Lisa! One of my favorite paintings. Big slimes are big annoyance. aren't even that bad right now though their ability to just be annoying is annoying goodbye forever upgrade 
passion comic that we aren't are, are already not using. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, so this one is just gonna be a little hard. And yeah, we aren't using Dazzling Display, so we're just gonna wanna sell that right now. Oh, a shop. And it doesn't actually have anything I want right now. As good as those cards can be, it's not the playstyle that I like for him. So let's actually jump over here. Whoa, I forgot. It on, the charm only works after I've killed one. So now charm works. And goodbye again. So this time, now all the big ones have been gone. We can easily just deal with them. Very convenient. Oh, very, very convenient. Um, I don't want to deal with this actually. First off, let's just round him back in there. Of course, it didn't work. Oh, and now we can just have him just fall into himself. Yeah. And now we can just go a bit more aggressively with these. That, they're all but done. I say as I take damage. Like, honestly, I'm just not playing well. While I'm talking, though I guess that's to be expected. What's not to be expected is me losing a boss fight again because I, well, it's gonna be my first time facing Cicerello. However, I don't expect me to be have that much issue with her. I feel like. Uh, goodbye. Oof, I took a lot of damage just from existing. Actually, it's not that much damage, so I probably don't need to worry about as much as I do. Anything cool? Oh. Uh -huh. Pink heart, purple heart. So, yeah, I really don't want to go over there, but. Not having a good Yeah. <laughs> Not having a good way to actually deal damage to him is fairly annoying right now, but besides that. You know what? Time to heal. going very poorly right now like it's going even worse than last run video because I actually did really well in these portions probably yeah. I should really work on uh, running different builds I'm so unnatural with it Ah, uh, yes, a little dandy statue. Sure, it's a nice touch. Like with all the little uh, courtyards details. Okay, that's annoying. Ooh, is this where I want to go? Central Hall it takes me over there anyway. So I'm not really sure if that's what I actually want to do. I kind of just think about like just switching over to 
cards as my main weapon for a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is not working the way I wanted to. Which also means I can switch this over. Yeah, it's working much better. So much better. Like, I, I really just want to use range stuff here. Though it's so clear that it's not going to work. Well, melee stuff will work here, but it's much more difficult to implement than it should be. Yeah. Actually, now I think about it. I don't know why I was trying to focus down on that card when I said I can put it on this card. Put that push over there. And bam, look at that. So every single time it hits one of those things, they get stunned. That's actually great. And because of how large Emmy is, I, I can just keep stunning them. I can just keep stunning them. And the cooldown for it is pretty much will keep them almost perma stunned, which is great for singular enemy tracks. Yeah, yeah, I think I found my, how I'm going to be dealing with these guys for a bit. Well, I should be careful since uh, I am literally not more than one hit away from just messing everything up. But I feel like that's a pretty good balance to have. These things just gonna start exploding. Bow, pow. We're gonna need to. <laughs> I'm actually not sure how I'm gonna dodge this as well as I want to. Okay. Alright, got that thing out. So. Now I can just stunlock this guy into a tourney. Actually, you don't even need to because he just trapped around the corner. Oh, you guys are smarter. Well, I mean, not anymore alive, but you, you guys were smarter. Ah, oh, man, do I want to risk it? There's only one answer, right, guys? Right, right? Risk it. What am I doing? I can just dash. Yeah, and with that, we complete the preliminary, so. Okay, this me round up over here and Goodbye you, and goodbye you guys too. That was a mistake, I know it. That was such a big mistake and I know it. Oh wait, I, oh. Oh no, 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 no. I'm actually about to die. I, I literally am just about to die here because I'm a complete nerd fool. And there's, not, there's no telling me otherwise. Yeah, if I somehow manage to actually make it out of this, I am going to just leave this area. And I will just like go straight onto the banquet hall. No more questions asked. I haven't actually used my pendant yet, so I have a small chance. Though I really thought it was gonna be helping as much as I would like it to. I still have to Okay. Whew! That was something else, and I will gladly upgrade you. Oh, so gladly. And I'm gonna sell this old one. Okay, so. I know what I said. I'll say what I do. But. Alright. 
Well, time to leave. Yeah, but these levels, they're pretty good. So now we go to the central hall. Ooh. Uh, pretty sure this is the correct path. I could be wrong. Well, I'll get a second uh, pot potion. And that should put me in more than enough a good place to just continue all the way through next run. I want to say I'm better at this, but I'm clearly not. Uh, anyway, that will be it for that video, and we're going to pick it back up in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you like what you saw, just look down the links below for how you can actually do it yourself.